So this is Ubuntu Snappy running on a Raspberry Pi 2. Let's see what we've got installed. You can see there we've got Juju installed and blow that Lex D. That's Juju. Let's have a look at the environment we're in. Currently in the Lex D environment. But if you have a look at Lex D, you can see we don't have any containers at the moment. So let's bootstrap our environment. This will create some containers on the Raspberry Pi 2. Obviously there's not many resources, so if you watch the clock in the bottom right corner, you can see I'm tastefully cutting around the amount of time it takes to actually bootstrap. So now we're deployed, or rather we're bootstrapped. Let's have a look at Juju status. And you can see our state server there. And just to prove that LexD thinks there's a container there, there it is. So now we're going to deploy a service. So this is going to start a container on the Raspberry Pi 2. This is just going to be a very simple server because we don't have very many resources available to us. So we're going to wait for that service to come up. Again, if you want to watch the clock, you can see that I'll be cutting around the amount of time it actually takes to start up. So there's our address. So we need to expose that service so we can get to it, and then we're going to see if the, the server will respond to our HTTP request. So it's exposed. Let's see if it's listening. There we go. So obviously it's not useful for production necessarily, but it's uh, it's a bit of fun. That's Juju deploying LexD containers on Ubuntu Snappy on a Raspberry Pi 2.